So I'm going to wait for a few more people to get in here, but if you haven't watched the stream from last night, um, you should because that will explain what happened here. I spent one hour rebuilding the ISL area, plugged in, didn't work. I spent additional hour attempting to figure out why it's still not turning on. Had a green light, then I didn't have a green light, and well, just uh, make sure your MagSafe charger works properly before going through and rebuilding an entire circuit after you know, you know, the board had an initial issue, but I tried with a different charger and here's the result we get. So this was just a bad, this was my charger, my other charger died and that's what trolled me for two hours. Um, the first hour was fixing it, the second hour was replacing things that I thought were bad because my charger was really the issue, but this is fixed. So watch the stream from last night. Um, this is fixed, it was an ISL issue. We rebuilt the ISL area. I'll show you guys on camera again. This hasn't been ultrasonic so it's still a little bit messy, but yeah, let's have a look at the ISL area. Had some major liquid damage there, but it's fixed now. We uh, rebuilt the whole area pretty much. Let me, yeah, so here's our ISL. No, all these resistors and all these caps near here. All those are replaced. Um, and this board is back in business now it gets ultrasonic and goes back to the customer but I just thought you know that would be something to share you know that was it really my charger and that's what trolled me for a whole hour trying to replace stuff that wasn't bad because my charger was screwed up so tip of advice have two good chargers around don't do what I did so and uh, depending on how things go today, it might be back later. I don't know if I will or not, but I will see you next time.